Every year, GV makes sure that there is something new, something great and something unique that they come out with. I think last year it was the GRT series and then the X line that they brought in. This year, of course, we are looking at the Maxia series. Maxia is a production model of the top of the line plastics that come on a lot of sport touring motorcycles and that has overall been about 32 years in the market. Now, this is the Maxia 5, the latest launch and we've all been looking forward to this uniquely beautiful design which oozes the Italian DNA and as you can see, like their cars, like their motorcycles, even their top boxes are so pristinely designed. I mean, from the aspect of the way the reflectors work to the slight contours that's given to this, it works perfectly on. I'm sure you guys already know which motorcycles in your head that you're gonna buy or you already have and you would want these boxes on. Now, apart from the design structure, there's a lot of changes GV has made with the Maxia 5. Um, the starting with which is the factor of a 58 litre top box, because I think the last one was 56. The V56 Maxia was the Maxia 4. Maxia 5, yes, I'm gonna say that again, 58 litres will hold two full face helmets, absolutely comfortable inside. And at the same time, they have eliminated the inner strap mounting system. Now, if you have seen the older GV boxes, they always have an open and you can see two uh, loops on either side to hold the top box down. Now, that was the design that they are good with and they function very well. But when it comes to actually looking at the latest edition, they have introduced the honeycomb structure for the rear mount. So what's new in the honeycomb? Of course, that is now becoming the strategic point of holding the whole top box in place. You have a 90 degree open lock system which is integrated into the honeycomb. So the door or the top upper portion of the top box will lock at a 90 degree angle. Now as it comes down, there is a slight pump when it closes and you have that last bit of click that you would need to do with this to make sure that it's locked in place. The next design is something that came in from the Maxia 3 actually. The locking mechanism in this is quite unique. Now, as you guys must see that this system does not have an protruding or an indented or a depression in the top box to have your uh, handlebar or your carrying strap amalgamated into this. How they have beautifully structured this is the key that is used to lock and unlock the system. If you are to turn it to unlock position and press it ever so slightly, you will see that a pop out of the carrying handle comes out. Now, this same carrying handle in unlock position, if you don't press there, and you go ahead and push it inwards, it actually allows the top box to be open as well. Now, how that makes it so beautiful is it's one system integrated and covered when it's off-road as well. Well, actually not off-road, when it's on bad road conditions. As we go inside the top box, you see in this picture or in, in this grab, you can actually see two full-face empty helmets are sitting absolutely fine. One of them has the, actually, well, both of them have the rear fin as well because a lot of guys have a question, will they fit? With the rear race fin that is an add-on on most of these helmets or most of our helmets, sideways both of them sit perfectly well and as you can see there's still a little bit of space for you to put maybe your gloves or a bottle of water inside. All that put together, the most important update that GV has done because they understand we actually need it, is if you look at the inside strap right now, you would see that there are four pre-built loop points and they provide an internet at the bottom of this to make sure that if you're using maybe just one bottle of maybe a spray, you've got your toolkit on this, any of these things will not rattle inside and these things hold it in place firmly. Yes, all of this put together, you are looking at a great design that GV has built. Let's not forget the factor that there is never just one color with GV or one model with GV. You see the Maxia 5 here comes with four different options. You have the silver one with the smoked or the white reflectors. You have the full black with red reflectors. Let's interchange this. You get the same thing with the red and the other one with the smoke reflector as well. All four of them are listed on our website between a price of 51,000 to 53,000. These belong to the mono key category of the top box range within GV, which means you will need to buy the SR series of top racks with the specific top plate being the M5, the M7 or the M9 and they would perfectly fit on your bikes. That's all about the GV Maxia 5. We will definitely stay tuned and look forward to having and seeing them on the roads. And yes, extremely happy to see a new range. Stay tuned. We've actually got a little more new launches coming in soon. I'm Srijit. I'll see you in the next one.